Nation. Hello again. Greetings people. I come in peace. It seems it doesn't take much to be called or considered the best of all times. People throw these terms around like confetti. But why? Do they really believe what they're saying? If so, why do they believe that? Did they come to that conclusion all by themselves? Or are they being influenced and manipulated by outside forces? Society is led to believe only what the media tells them and this can create a false impression of a sports personality. They can choose to dwell on a positive side or a negative side of someone's personality, influencing the way we feel about that person. Sometimes those reasons are political or they serve a financial purpose or even a national agenda. Sometimes it's simply a personal bias. What's interesting about Max Verstappen and Tyson Fury is the eagerness to put them in positions they haven't yet earned and might never earn. I feel this does an injustice to the athletes themselves, the fans and to the sport itself. Let me expand on that. The injustice it does to the athletes is that it makes them believe they've made it when in reality they might not be anywhere close to their potential and they take their foot off the gas when in reality they need to apply more effort, learn more skills, try harder. Maybe that's all they really got no matter how hard they try. The injustice it does to the fans is that we don't see the best. We don't see the striving, the effort, the struggle and witness a bona fide legitimate champion that no one can detract from. All the receipts are there. We don't get to see that. And the injustice it does to the sport is immense. It completely diminishes the standard and quality of competition. Other sports people feel disheartened and discouraged for not getting the credit they rightly deserve. The seriousness of the sport is lowered and in time it loses fans, then sponsors, then money, then it's over. Back to its beginnings, to its purest form, but that doesn't pay the bills. Look, I know there's a lot of emotions when someone talks about our favourite sports personality. And we can be fans of anybody we like. We can be fans of people who are great at their sport or not so great. The danger is giving people undue glory though. It only erodes the standard of the sport. Fury has been called the greatest boxer of our era and even the greatest of all time. <laughs> Whoever has said that is doing a disservice to boxing and they haven't really thought about what they're saying. I've covered this in a previous video so I won't go too much into that now. The link is below. But Tyson Fury hasn't remotely done enough to be considered best of this era or any other era. Max Verstappen shares similarities with Fury by also being considered the best of this era, but he has not proved it. He's a good driver, just like Tyson Fury is a good boxer, yet they are being exalted beyond their real achievements. What does this era even mean? Era is not a fixed duration and may vary from a few decades to a few hundred years. And a geographical era is even longer. But let's just take it from the last few decades, our contemporary modern era, which starts roughly in the 1940s. But I won't even go that far back. Let's just say Max won his two championships legitimately. Let's just imagine that. That's two championships. Does that make Max better than Alonso, for instance? He's also won two championships. I don't think so. Okay, how about Jackie Stewart? He's won three championships. Nicky Lauder's won three. PK has won three. Ayrton Senna, legend, he's won three. Alan Prost, four. Sebastian Vettel, four. Schumacher, seven. Hamilton, seven. What has Verstappen done that they haven't? I don't get it. There is so much really good drivers out there. Damon Hill, Mansell, Hunt, too many to mention. Look, let's cut the nonsense. 
When they say he's the best of the era, they really mean they are going to make him the best of our era. And that's the way it's going to be. Like it or lump it. It's just a pure fabrication. The concocting of a false hero. But let's, let's go into the legitimacy of Max's World Championship wins. Abu Dhabi, as everybody knows, he was given the race win by one of the most blatant manipulations I've ever seen in any sport to date. If you want more details on how egregious this act was, watch Fixed on YouTube. He goes into a lot of details. Max's second championship win comes by his team breaching a cost cap that allowed them to spend a lot more money on their car than anyone else. In effect, cheating. Again, they get a slap on a wrist and now all of a sudden Red Bull is the fastest car by far. Ridiculously fast. You honestly cannot make this stuff up. The next fastest car is his teammate, who isn't even allowed to challenge him. Yes, Max's valet teammate Perez has been prevented from competing with him for the championship and made to look incompetent at the same time. The media saying he's just not good enough, he hasn't got it, he can't compete with Max, he's, Max is too good. I beg to differ. Perez starts the season by winning a couple of races, really pushing and testing Max. And then he questions the team's decision about allowing Max to get ahead of him. Then all of a sudden, his performance drops. He starts getting car trouble. And then, lo and behold, his team leader tells him to stop focusing on the championship. You know, it's too much pressure for you. <laughs> wow. Now that's gangster. Now, it... It's clear that F1 has an agenda to make Max a champion as much as possible and to break as much records as possible with the least amount of interference. But why do this? Why? Do we live in a time where our champions need to be chosen for us? Like a manufactured pop band? Shall we just sweep under the carpet scandalous behaviour by fury and the nefarious goings on at Red Bull with Max? You take the soul out of the sport like that. The sport will die out if we don't have fair assessment and objective reporting and commentaries. People to ask those questions, the serious questions, questions that we want to know about. We need brave journalists to ask difficult questions and hold the people ruining the sport to account. I understand that it's a living for people and it's hard, particularly when you're being threatened by race teams and sports channels and promoters but journalists shouldn't lose their integrity and join in with the lies journalists are supposed to report the truth warts and all whether they like it or not whether it offends or pleases they need to be objective the damage is already being done you know you've got to start to consider max now as as, as one of the all-time greats i mean it's uh, and particularly at 25 years of age what he's done in the space of time he's done it. Many people have stopped watching F1. Many have switched over from boxing to MMA. These sports are losing their respect and they'll be overtaken by the Muppets, Misfits, boxing and, and the ultra casual fans who want to see WWE type dust-ups and have no clue or respect for the art of boxing. Anyway, thanks for listening. Left hook the subscribe button. And remember... Choose life.